You've made my Bob day. says the weather's been great, Here's and he's payment. offering um junk as a reward. I guess. Um, I don't even know. I can sell the shovel. I can sell the sledge. Antibiotics. Um, I guess I'm going to take the sledge and just sell it. Trader Bob, you have stuff. You don't have anything at all in the other direction. I'm going to leave quest for the time being with him because they're all going the wrong way and I don't want to go that way. As a matter of fact, I want to go I want to go the opposite of that way. So I'm just going to sell all those parts that we got on the last one. That's that's fine by me. Kind of tempted to sell that guy too. Um, but we'll probably melt it down. That seems like a better use of of options here. Let's go check out while we're in this place. Oh, hold on. Got business to attend to. Let's go check out the Poppin' Pills store that is around here somewhere, and I don't remember where it is. It's not that direction, because that is not the direction to go. I think it's a little bit to the northeast, something like that. Yeah, no, we're... We're bound to run into it if we keep going this way, because it's past the Hurry Harry's. It's past the Lathe and Hardware. It's like right over there. I could just see it for a moment. Should be coming up. Yeah, there it is. Look at that. I'm not sure if this is a new building or not. I, I think it might be. Perfect. Let us explore. Photo Food Mart Pharmacy. Interesting. Is there a... Nope. Got a scanner. No safe. No cash register. Okay, look at that. Excuse me. Do you sell antibiotics? I've never seen them before in my life. Especially not when offered by a trader. I would like to purchase some. Or something. Hmm, I got nothing. Brass! Okay. I think this is basically just going to be a, a clean sweep of running through here and... grabbing whatever. At least it kind of looks like it. Eh, sure, we'll take that in the backpack. Why not? Can't really see from that angle, but yeah, there sure is something in there. Okay. Hi, how you doing? Back up. I don't like people. Social distance, people. Come on. I don't like people. Well, I suppose I should say I don't like zombies. I don't like zombies, okay? People is going a little far. Going a little far. Zombies, on the other hand, I, there are not enough things I can say strongly enough about zombies. Okay. It's kind of hard for me to tell which shelves you can search and which ones you can't. I, I guess like those ones that look like that, right there, center screen, those do work, but these guys do not. That does not. That doesn't... Nor that one. That one will. Okay. I kind of know what I'm looking for in here now. Now, granted, there will be some shelves, I think, that won't look like that, that we'll be able to, to check, and that's fine. Just got to find them and figure out which ones they are. Minor details. Right? 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 We we're going to come away with so much crap. I mean, it's not going to be an overwhelming amount of crap, but it'll be a goodly amount of crap. And good crap at that. It's not even bad crap, it's good crap. It's all drugs and health 
stuff. Man. Lots of splints, lots of, lots of painkillers, lots of steroids, it seems. It's almost like I predicted steroids in there. I was going to say steroids before it even popped up. And then it was more steroids. Sometimes, gotta love the randomness of things. Now that is curious. Those are some pointy, sharp-looking spikes there, and I don't want to mess with them. I have delicate hands that are always clawed up by cats, and uh, yeah, that might just cause me to start bleeding. That's awkward. I guess we're in Australia because those are drop zombs. Drop zeds? Yes, drop zeds. Huh. Alright, well that's cool. Beware the drop zeds. Never know when they might drop. Hello? Hello? Is there a bell here? Ding, 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 ding. Service, please. Hello. Man. Gotta do everything on your own these days. No one around. No one's working here. They're all too busy counting their money in the office or something. I don't know. Hey, explodey things. What are these? Is it just paper? It is just paper. I was wondering if we were going to go downstairs, and I recognize that there's not a downstairs. Not in the traditional sense. Let me hit the actual thing I want to hit. There we go. Just had a feeling based on what was going on in the other part of the store. It just looked like it might. Okay, down we go. Excuse me, folks. Don't mean to interrupt. But, um... Do you know anyone who works here? Hey! Slow down. Don't be so excited. We'll go ahead and scrap these guys. I recognize that. There's a book somewhere that gets you better stuff from them, I think. Or using a wrench. Maybe it's using a wrench. I don't know, but I don't think I care about the additional parts you get out of them by doing it that way, so... I'm gonna say this is fine. Besides, it's too late now, they've already finished. See? They've already finished. What's going on down in this place, and why does it have a downstairs like this? This is weird. Rusty barrel, huh? an unmarked crate up here. Toilet? Cabinet. Cabinet. Oh. Alright, let's grab this. Grab some cobblestones. Grab some nucks. Get ready to fight. There's some stuff going on down here. Why is it that so many buildings... Whether you're talking houses, stores, whatever. Have some sort of weird underground lab element about them. It's just weird. Just curious, I don't know. When do we get there? Shotgun Messiah Volume 4, you can craft shotgun slugs. We can go slug it out with the neighbors. That is cool. I like that. Bunch of aloe, man. Good stuff. It's more Australia with the drop zombs. 
Um, where are you going? Are you stuck? <laughs> oh, that was... Oh, that was priceless. That was great. I enjoyed that a whole heck of a lot. Now let's back up a little bit. No, oh, I can't put that down there. All right, here, let's back up a little bit more. Come along, everyone. Turret, you gotta look left at some point. Turret. Yeah, this is fine. This is totally juggling the zombies. No problem. I mean, between some furious fists and the uh, pogo stick there, that wasn't bad at all. I mean, I realized it took a hit, but whatever. Zombies are getting their infections knocked out of their heads, so there's not a lot of threat from them. Not really all that concerned about an infection or anything. And if we get one, well, it's not like we don't have any antibiotics. Just saying. Did you break through? I think you did. How you doing? Congratulations! You broke through. For you, good sir. I'm gonna hurt my hand punching a shelf. Back up! Um... The zombie is literally running away from me. And bled out. <laughs> oh, man. I don't even know what's happening anymore. What is going on? Oh, this is wild. What are on these things? Serrated blade mod. I totally forgot about that. Not even joking. I forgot we put that on there. Zombie straight bled out. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Let's check out the bathroom first. Gun pistol? Gun pistol? Uh, toilet pistol. That's what I'm trying to say. Let's check back here, too. I meant to do this earlier. Since we have all these drop psalms coming around. Um... I guess it doesn't matter. Anywhere is going to be a bad spot. I just want to see if there's anything up here. I'm not necessarily expecting there to be, but I'm not going to be surprised if there is. Doesn't look like it, but there still could be over here. Okay. Looks fine. Toilet gun? Toilet knife? I don't know, whatever. Something? Well, that was one of the ways in, apparently. Looks like we're going to go to the roof to finish this place out. Check that. Not interested in anything else. That's fine. This should be our final loot right up here. I mean, I can't imagine there's anything else. I see two boxes right there. One and two. Half expecting some birds. Hello. Do 
Do you have anything you would like to add to that? She was coming in pretty hot there. Actually, they all kind of were. Hey. Don't hit me. That's rude. <laughs> oh, there's something funny about that to me, too. Just a running right hook. The zombies. Oh, man. I love this game so much. If you've ever wondered why I get so upset about the crappy animations or something, that's why. I just love this game so much. I want it to be perfect. Oh, man. So, triple armor pocket mod. We can modify this, take you off, put that on there. Put that back on. Just like that, we're looking pretty good on pockets. Not quite at full. And I don't think we can get to full without spending any points. And I in intend to never spend any points. Maybe you can if you use the crafted ones that you can put on regular clothing. I think those exist still. I know they used to be a thing. I wonder if you were to do that, if you could get every pocket unlocked without spending any points. If there were more than one chest... I would use that Jailbreaker candy, but for one single chest, I kind of don't want to. I mean, really. Survey says... Hot garbage. Hot garbage. I guess with the exception of the ammunition and a few Molotovs, but still, that's pretty hot garbagey. I don't think we have, um, well, it's not really a long enough drop to worry about it. I think we still have some of the candy that lets you take a fall, but I'm pretty sure you can just do some strategic falling and you don't really need to worry about it anyway. Not bad. Not bad at all. And we do have a little bit of room left, which is good because, um... Because it's good. Here, let's eat... Did we eat all the bacon and eggs? No, but we can eat the meat stew. That would be good. That's... That's actually a pretty good one to use. Let's head back to base, where we will meet and just, uh, get reacquainted with everything. I would stop by Trader Gems right quick, just to get rid of a couple of things. I don't really have a lot to sell to her, but you she don't look so good. will buy a couple things, you so here we'll for that. sell you that one, and then we can sell you all of these. And that might be it, because everything else... Everything else is fine, I, I think. Okay. You'd find something you'd like. I mean, I didn't, but... Well, I guess I did. I, I found some dukes in the stuff that I sold you, so uh, yeah. Yeah, we're good with that. Let me go drop this stuff back off the base, and I think the plan right now is just to kind of, well, drop stuff off at base. But also, I want to kind of take a look at where we are with everything. Because I kind of think we need to start looking into expanding operations a little bit. And it's also been a little while, but we should have a chemistry station that's ready to go over in the workshop area, and that's going to require a little bit of finagling to get that to fit. So here, we'll just drop all this stuff off nice and quickly, like... It's not too bad when you can just run through and click a button and it all goes away. I mean, yes, you have to set everything up first, obviously, but still. Buckshot, you go in there. That goes in there. 
Folding stock goes in there. Man, look at that. We have so much crap in there. It's just ridiculous. Even that box is pretty full. So here we can drop that off. I'm surprised we didn't have any of those yet. That's unexpected. Guess we can make some more fish tacos while we're at it, so... Make some fish tacos. Taco it up. There we go. That'll be fine. And then... We should... Is that all we got? Where did those all go? They have to be in a... There we go. I knew there were a bunch of them. I just didn't know what I did with them. I don't know. Pay no attention to me. We need some cornbread. And then we need... What else do we need for this crap? Cans of tuna. Yes. Of course. Cans of tuna. Here, make some more of those. Um, what are we missing? Oh, we need one more cornbread. Ah! Make a cornbread. Here, make the cornbread. Are we ready to eat those yet? 46. Okay. Not quite. Make the cornbread, then make one of those, and then make another one of those in a moment. Because... reasons. And this guy, what are you? 36. Yeah, we're not really ready to eat any of this stuff yet. That's fine. Not a big deal. And we can put those away and those away. And we need some amount of those that I am way too lazy to figure out. So we'll grab that. And... You also need cornmeal. In addition to all the other things you need. Got it. I now understand. Okay, let's go run over to the other base, because we really do need to get started on whatever we're supposed to get started on over here. I don't even know what we're supposed to be doing. Can we make a cement mixer? We can. So, 25 springs. No, nope. 25 forged irons, 4 springs, an engine, and some mechanical parts. I think we should probably get started on this, because the sooner we can start making concrete, the better. So, 4 of those. 10 of these guys. We need an engine. And then the rest of it is just forged iron, yeah? Yeah, look at that. I actually remembered a thing. So 25 forged iron. That'll get us a cement mixer. And then we can probably get started on this stuff, although we don't have crushed sand, so that is going to be a concern. And then I also have one more concern that I'm not finished with getting rid of this. So let me get rid of this so we can place this guy. Mm, yeah, that fits. That's exactly what I had in mind. Shove that thing right there under the mantle, and perfect. I like the look of that. And then if we need to add another one, maybe we'll put it over here, or get rid of a cabinet and put it under here. I don't know. Maybe we'll put the cement mixer over here. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I'm just burning stuff for the sake of burning stuff. Uh, we got stuff in there that's burning, don't we? Here, let's grab the rest of these guys. Um, yep. Go ahead and do that. Uh, you know what? Let's not do that. We're going to need to put this... Load this thing up with clay. So let's just do that now. It's going to need some because we're going to eject casings from there at some point. So what can we do with this guy? We can make gas cans. We don't really have shale. So that's not really going to help us much right now. Glue and glue. Hmm. Super corn and bones. Okay. Well, the bones I'm used to seeing, but the super corn, I guess I never used that one. Gunpowder, honestly, was kind of the thing I was thinking of that we might end up wanting to use over here. Or end up making. We can already do the big piles of that crap, so that's handy. And we could do first aid kits, which is really interesting. 
Blood bags, grain alcohol, bandages, and sewing kits. I think that's worth looking into to see what we have. I know we do have a few blood bags, but not many. So, medical. I don't think we have our sewing kits over here, though, do we? Those really should be in the medical pile. My bad. Okay, so medical pile. So we can do 10 alcohols, 10 bandages, 10 blood bags, and that. And that should get us 10, 10 kits. That's... Oh boy. I'm really excited about this. Like, this is a big deal. First aid kit, what are we missing? Is it just power? Wow. That's a big deal. Um. Hot dang. I wonder. I wonder, wonder. 138. Okay. I was just wondering, maybe... Can you... Can you make a decent economy out of selling med kits? I don't know. Doesn't look like it necessarily, but... I mean, all we need are a bunch of bandages and... We've got... Tons of that crap here. Let's make some bandages. We need... 30 of these. I mean, whatever. This is so not an issue. Let's go make that cement mixer that I was supposed to start like 12 years ago. Because um, that should have been ready to be placed momentarily. And instead, someone forgot to start it. Cement mixer, you're right there. See, that should have been ready to go. Man, that is wild. That is absolutely wild to me. I never bother with these things. Oh, we didn't even need as many as I thought. Perfect. We'll have extras because we're going to keep on making some more bandages. Need a minute 48 on that guy. We'll give you one more frame. That's going to be just a little more time than you need. Perfect. This guy we turned off. This one is still going. We'll just let you keep going on your three minutes of remaining time. That's fine. So this is going to be another two and a half minutes. That's okay. That's fine. We can go back to base. We have things to do over here. Hi, Kitty. How you doing? You gonna jump up? Hi. Can I turn... Can I turn your camera on? Oh, bye, Kitty. Yeah, I don't really have my lights on very bright, so it's all in slow motion and quite reddish, it looked like. Nah, that's fine. I mean, we didn't exactly have... Hi, you're, you're coming back? Here, can I do this? Here, if I do this, and I change that to that setting, that should be a little better. And then if I turn that guy on, I'm blinded. But man, the cat looks great. Don't you? You look fantastic. That's all that matters. We've got a lot of med kits, and we're about to have a bunch more. I mean, that just... That throws me... Like, that's bonkers. We need some materials. We've got a lot of cement. We're going to need to turn that into a lot of concrete, which means stones. We need a lot of stones, and we need a lot of crushed sand. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll call that just eight. That's 8,000 cement, which means we need 16,000 stones and 8,000 crushed sand, if I'm not mistaken. Oh no, it's just one to one. Okay, I thought one of them was a two. Well, even better. We still need 8,000 of a lot of things. Hi, cat. That is getting really close for me. I wasn't planning on swallowing the microphone today, but thank you. Good. Are you good now? Are you fine? You're doing fine? Okay, good. We can at least for the time being take some of these guys, and I think it would be prudent to do a little bit of upgrading on 
this place. We don't need to go outside, though, for that. <laughs> we don't need to go outside through the front door, I mean to say. Let's see, where is the hammer? Just take the hammer, and I am going to go ahead and upgrade all this stuff. I just think it's kind of overdue. We're probably going to need a new hatch. What do we need for that? We just need iron. Um, sure, we'll go ahead and craft that. Last I remember, the way doors upgrade, I just never remember how to do it. So you need to have the upgraded door you're going to convert it to, which it seems kind of weird to me, but I mean, I guess I kind of get the idea. Like you can't really upgrade a wooden door to an iron door. You just have to swap it out. I think that's the idea they're going for. Which, you know, I kind of get. We're going to drop some frames down here. Let's, uh, once this guy's done, you're done now. What do we have for wood? We don't have a ton. So let's make like another 71 frames here. I don't know. I'm just picking a random number. And we're going to upgrade this place a little bit. I don't know. I guess we're going to go up. I was debating, do we want to go out? Do we want to go underground? I think I'm okay with up. I mean, this really here should be level. I don't know why this is not. I just never got around to it, I guess. I don't know. Just fill in the gaps right here, and then we'll go ahead and upgrade that hatch. So what I'm thinking we might want to do here is just kind of go up a floor's worth. Something like this. And then, theoretically, I, I think what we'll end up having to do is just kind of relocate everything. I suspect there will be a fair amount of stuff needing to be moved. I don't like what I'm doing so far here. Not liking this. I know I went up a little higher there, and that's fine. So we're going to need to go up high anyway. I'm not liking the look of this. There you go. Theoretically, we should still be able to get up and down here, right? Okay. I don't know, Cat, what do you think? I'm not liking this. I need something. But I'm not sure what it needs. Maybe it just needs to be framed out like that. That might be all it needs, I'm not sure. That'll be okay. I mean, this isn't going to work long short term. This won't work short term. But it should be fine long term. Okay, yeah. That's coming together better. But then it still needs something else. So I think what it needs... go up higher again. I think it's only going to go up one. And then we need some shapes here. We need... What do we need? 
Do we need these guys? We need something like this. I think this is gonna be this is gonna be better. Eh. Yes, this will be better. So if we go over here, we can copy that shape. That should be correct. Okay, something like that. And then copy that shape. We'll just do... This might fall down because I don't have proper supports in place yet, so let me do that. This is not a proper support, but that should be sufficient for now. And then, let's see, I need to get back up there. That would be... That would be handy. And I think we're going to do something like... These guys. Yeah. We'll get a nice little kind of peaked roof here or something. And this will come in on all the sides here. Maybe we'll just have a nice big open area up top. I don't know how I want to do this just yet. Maybe we'll even... Maybe this will come up to an open area up here. I, I don't know. I'm just kind of winging it. But I'm just looking at this going, I want, I want a bigger building. And that looks like that's going to be a decent start. So I think what I'm going to do with the rest of my time here, and I'm not going to torture you with it, is I'm going to go through and I'm going to... I'm going to upgrade. I'm going to put some concrete in place. I mean, that's equivalent right there to just, like, settling down. Like, this is it. This is where we're staying. There's so much stuff over here. We got a trader, like, right across the street. Got another one not that far out. I mean, when you look, it's pretty proximate to the center of the map. It's not too bad. A faster vehicle will really solve some problems. So I'm going to just upgrade some of these. I'm going to come back once we're done here. We have one more thing to do. And I'm going to keep doing that. So on the next one, this building is going to be upgraded. I'm just, I'm telling you that right now so you're not surprised. Okay? Don't be surprised. If you're surprised, that means you didn't watch the video and you skipped ahead. In which case, I did a bad job here of uh, keeping you entertained or something. I don't know where we want to put this guy. I'm kind of okay with keeping it all in this room. Right there. Looks great. So, we're not really in a spot to be putting that to great use. That's just hilarious to me. How you doing, sir? What you doing in my building? You're not welcome in here. I'd say, how did you get in here, but... You spawned in here, because that's what you do. You spawn in here, because this is separate from everything else, and that's just how it works. Anyway, I think we're in a pretty decent spot. We've got a bunch of clay in there, a bunch of brass in there, not much lead. That'll be an issue for a later time. We do need more metal in here. That's going to be a bit of a hurdle as well. I wouldn't mind fixing this floor. This is ugly. And I keep you know, falling in like that. Granted, I jumped in that time. But still, it's kind of annoying. I don't know, I'm, um... I'm feeling okay about where things are right now. Let's take a look. Last thing I want to do is see what it's going to take to make a motorcycle. So we have the proper knowledge to do this. We just don't have what we need to do it. Which is that. And also that. That's going to be a problem. So if we wanted to put some points into Grease Monkey, the next one is going to give us Motorcycle. And that's going to require an Intellect of 6, so we could kind of cheat our way. We could put one point into Intellect, we could put one point into Grease Monkey. And then we're going to need a 
bunch of steel because that's what it takes to make things. But we also need a bunch of iron so we can make a crucible so we can even make the steel to begin with, which then means we have to in turn collect a ton of iron to smelt into steel. But we need that crucible. I need to buy a crucible. That would make life so much easier. Well, I think we have some goals for the near future here. Namely, we need a crucible. We need a ton of forged steel. And if we can buy a ton of forged steel, that might even be the better way to go. Just for the time being. I'm not really sure about that. And then, of course, we need to upgrade this and get some more building materials in place so we can get the upstairs started on more than just framed out at least. So this is what I'm going to do for a little while. We will catch up in the morning whenever that happens to be. But that'll, that'll be on the next video because this is going to take me some time. For right now, go check out patreon.com slash KIC gaming. See what we got going on over there. I have a value for value proposition for you and I will catch you on the next video. Till then, thanks for watching. See you later.